Okay, um, I've got a little problem with my fridge, so I thought this would be a good time to show you how to do something. The problem is, in the fridge, and I've already pulled pretty much everything out of here, um, I've got this little port in the, the ceiling of the fridge compartment, and water is dripping down through here, um, flooding out the fridge. Now, I've already dried it out, you can't see it right now, but water is coming down through here. It's a fairly common thing. I've seen this a lot in the apartment industry. Um, what this is caused by is the overflow drain freezing up or clogging up and the water instead of going through the drain out the back it's dripping down into the fridge compartment. Now if you look inside the fridge here we've got these vents here. Back behind this panel is where um, the fan and the cooling elements are. So what we're going to do is pull these screws in the corners. We've got one screw up here one across here. We're probably going to have to pop out that little vent there. That'll click off that little outlet for a future ice maker. Um, we may have to pop that off. Just work it slow and easy. Same thing with all these panels here. We'll pop all this stuff down in the middle. We'll clear out the whole back of the fridge, get in there, and then I'll show you how that works from okay, there. So now that I've got the fridge open, and I've got all the back off of here, you can see the components. There's the cooling fan that's going to blow cold air through the compartments. There are the cooling coils, that's what's actually going to get cold, and line sets that are going to run out behind the fridge and down to the, uh, the pump and the compressor. And right down here at the bottom, you've got two holes. That compartment right there allows air to move down into the refrigerator, and that little hole down underneath is the overflow drain. So what happens is when frost builds up on these coils, or at a predetermined interval if it's on a timer, the refrigerator will actually stop running cold or the freezer and will reverse and send warm fluid through these lines. The lines will get warm, the frost will melt, drip down into that pan and run down the hole, then immediately it clicks back over and turns to cool and that's how the fridge defrosts. But the problem we get is that this little hole will fill up with just gunk since this is blowing air through it, it pulls in lint um, and whatever else happens to be in the air that's able to make its way into the fridge. So after a while you can get a buildup of lint down there that will actually hold enough water that it can freeze and clog up that line. So we defrost the fridge and take and pour a little warm water in there. We're going to wash that down. It might take a little bit of time, several times. If I reach in there I can actually feel a little bit of ice. Um, that's starting to break up and move away. So we want that to break up. I'm not quite sure what this is. This thing was hooked right here. Um, I don't know if that's for me to be able to try and loosen things up or if that actually conducts hot and cold from this line. Uh, either way, I'm going to put it back when it's done. The other thing I'm going to do is snake through it with the tip of this brush. I don't know if this is too big. I might need to go get a pipe cleaner. But we're going to run something down there and try and push out whatever lint's in there. That's all going to end up in a pan underneath the fridge on the other end. So I'll show you that. Okay, so I'm behind the refrigerator now. Um, and down at the bottom I've taken off this back plate. There's just a handful of screws to take that off. The plate comes off and you've got your compressor, uh, pump, and the rest of the electronics for the fridge. And over here is the main fan. Um, what's going on here is you've got the overflow line comes down into this compartment and attaches to this little tube that does a loop. Now it doesn't actually have a pan. I'm, what I'm used to seeing is a pan underneath the fridge that all the water drips into and you can pull it out if you need to to dump it. Um, this little line though has a loop at the end, you can see right here, that I guess the purpose of it is to contain the water there and since it's next to the fan, the airflow there slowly evaporates it from that line before it ever comes out. But if there's too much water in the line, it can drip out and just goes in that bottom pan. But again, since this fan is running and warm air is circulating down here, the idea would be that it would evaporate quicker than it could possibly amass to run out. Um, but what I need to do is clear this line. And so what I'm going to try here is you could run a, uh, if you had something long enough, you could stick it up there to snake it. I'm going to run compressed air up through there and try and blow that out. So you can hear it blowing up top. So I'm going to blow that through, go back around and see if I dislodge whatever Okay, in so there. back up on top, um, I blew the air back through here, so if you can see this good. And it looks like I dislodged some sort of little 
piece of paper or something. So somehow that little paper got down in there. Um, I don't see anything else that came up, but I'm going to wipe that area down to make sure I get any of that lint instead of washing it back down. Then I'm going to run some water back through it one more time, and if it seems like it's clear, I'll put everything back together and plug it back in.